Hello programmers, today I'm going to talk about a few of the things that can go wrong uh, in C++, first with integers and then later with reading an input from the user. So if I have an integer x and I set it to this very, very large number and then just print that out to the screen, nothing, nothing goes wrong. Everything matches up. In fact, I can verify what is the largest possible integer I could use in my program by using this constant int max, and that's in the C limits header. So when I've picked the largest possible integer, what happens if I were to pick something larger than that? What happens if I were to add one to this or just change that to make it one larger? Well, we're going to overflow the available storage for that integer and we're going to get some surprising results when we run this and see that we now look like we have a negative number. So that's not going to work well in our program at all. In this situation, to fix it, I would recommend that if you know it's going to be a positive number, let's do an unsigned integer. And then the first bit doesn't need to be reserved to show whether or not it's a positive or a negative number. Instead, we have an extra bit to work with and that allows us to have a larger number available. So an unsigned number has twice as much space, so we're able to uh, have that bigger value there. What else could go wrong in your program? So reading an input from the user. Let's go back to an int, and let's say we're reading in an integer from the user, and we'll just say to the user, please enter a number. So please enter maybe an age or something. So if we're reading in from the user, we learned in one of our previous lectures we could use CN and have the extraction operator, the greater than, greater than, and we're gonna store that into the variable X. And then let's go ahead and print out what X is equal to after we read it and run that. So if the user is following along with the instructions and they know what, what they're supposed to enter, which is an, an integer, then everything goes fine. So if I put in an age, I'll say 45, then it works perfectly. But what happens if the user doesn't know that they can't enter in letters? So what if they say, my age is 10? Well we're not going to get the results that we were hoping for and in fact it, it doesn't throw an exception or anything or there's no indication that something went wrong in the program we would like our programs to be more flexible and to catch that well there's a couple ways you can catch that after you read in from the input the input from the user with cn we need to look at the state of that cn object so I'm gonna do a while loop so that I can keep prompting them until they give me a valid entry. So I could check while CN failed. So we failed to read an integer in this case. So there's a flag that's gonna be set, a fail bit. So while we failed to read in that number, what do we need to do to clear things up? So I wanna clear the flag that said we're in a, a bad state inside of this, the, the fail bit. I wanna clear that flag so we can try again. And I also need to ignore the letters that the user typed in, otherwise they're still gonna be sitting in that input stream and ready to be read. So I'm gonna ignore, and notice I'm using that int max again. So the most that they could have typed in if I was trying to store it in this integer is this int max. So let's ignore that many, um, that many, characters from the input stream or until we read a backslash n, whatever comes first. And then let's give them another shot. So we'll say error, try again, and they can try to read in a number again. Uh, and instead of number, the variable I'm using is x. So let's give this one a shot. always seems to take forever when I'm trying to build something and make a video. So please enter the age. So if I misinterpret this, I could say um, two is the age I want to try. Well, we went into the while loop because this was true. CN was in an error state. There was a fail bit set. And we'll try again, um, just mashing on the keyboard, um, still catching that error clearing however many characters I typed here so we can read in the next number in. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put in a, 
a real number. And now we're out of that while loop and we can print the value of x. Um, other things that could go wrong, which this code is not going to catch, is what if the user gives you a decimal point in their age? So what if I'm you know, 20.5? Well, this isn't going to be considered an error because 20 is a valid integer, so it's just going to put that in x, and then the 0.5 is just going to be sitting there ready to be input. So I suggest a whole other strategy for this kind of error. I'd suggest reading in the input as a string and then looking to see if you have any decimal points in there or anything that's not a digit. But we haven't learned about strings in my class yet, so I'm going to postpone that for another day. So for now, you can be able to do error handling when the user types in letters instead of numbers.